my channel if you are new here my name is Georgia and every single Friday I bring to you a brand new vintage-ish video full of vintage-ish goodness sometimes I may even just release a cheeky little short video during the week too today I am feeling festive so, I'm going to show you how you can make your own festive fascinator perfect for the big day. If you love all things vintage and pinup and are wondering where to begin, or perhaps you're just here for the chit chat, well, my friends, hit that subscription button, turn your notifications on, and you'll never miss another video. On my channel, you can find vintage ish hair, vintage ish fashion, style, and the odd how to tutorial, perhaps. Generally, all things vintage ish. If you think that my channel is missing a certain something something, well just get in touch and let me know and you'll probably see it on the channel in a couple of weeks. If you have been watching my last few videos, well you will know that I am a vintage accessory lover. Because I have a lot of hair, I generally like to put things on it. Obviously I mean hats and the likes, accessories etc. I'm a huge fan of fascinators and half hats, berets, headpieces, all that jazz. Basically anything that can jazz a simple hair down and kind of curly look like this. Now if you're not familiar with Miranda's Choice, well I will pop the details on the screen somewhere so that you can have a nosy. They are a fabulous company located in Germany. They sell beautiful vintage hats and half hats and accessories. I actually saw this fascinator that they had for sale on my Instagram feed because that is where I mainly live. But they only had a limited amount of stock and of course they went super fast before I could get my hands on one and I was pretty devoured. So I thought to myself, well, gee, why don't you just have a go? So here we are having a go. Sorry about that. Now, before we jump into the tutorial, I just want to mention and point out that obviously Miranda's Choice is a professional company. They produce exquisite pieces and I am simply armed with a glue gun and some Christmas decorations. So bear with me, okay? You will need a pair of hands. You will also need a base. You will need a felt snowflake. You will need a Christmas decoration of your choice to go on top of the felt snowflake. Some crocodile clips. A mini glue gun or a normal size glue gun will do. Some glue sticks, obviously. Pop the glue sticks in the glue gun and turn it on. This will need to heat for about five minutes and then you're good to go. So I'm just snipping the Christmas decoration handle off here. Now it's ready to use. I'm just going to apply a bit of melted glue gun to the middle. I'm going to be quite generous here. And we're going to stick this onto the base. Now obviously it is made from cinema so it will seep through a little bit if you just turn it over and dab it you shouldn't get too much residue coming through. I also decided that I just wanted to pop a bit of extra glue onto each side so that it wasn't flapping in the wind. This is personal preference and it's up to you whether you want to leave it loose or whether you want to secure it a little bit more. Now for the main event. Just need to snip that off so that it can no longer hang on the Christmas tree. I'm going to apply some glue gun right to the middle. Now this is like a raised bead so it needs quite a lot of glue on it just to make sure that it will really stick to the felt. I'm going to press this down super firm just to make sure that it sticks and I'm actually going to leave it for about 10 minutes just to dry completely. Once it has dried, all I'm doing here is bending the ends because they have wire in them and I didn't think it would be very safe if I left them sticking out. 
probably a few poked eyes. So I'm just bending them to adhere to the shape of the fascinator. If your decoration doesn't have wired ends, then obviously you won't be able to do this. But I just think it really helps the overall shape of it. Next, I'm going to pop some clips on. Now, this is personal preference. You can either put the clips on the end, apply some glue going obviously to the flat side, and then you're just going to pop that onto the back of the fascinator. Again, this is personal preference. I prefer two to the back, but obviously you can have one to the side or you could have two to the front and two to the back. It's just completely up to you. Once you have glued them in place, always make sure that they open. I have glued many a crocodile clip closed, so this is my top tip. I'm just going to let that set for another 5-10 to 10 minutes just so it's completely dry and then it should be ready to wear. Now if you end up with any kind of stringy, straggly glue bits then obviously you can just take them off at the end. I'm a little bit messy so obviously there was lots of straggly bits that I have to get off but you may be completely different and better at it than me. And you can pop it in your hair and how cool does that look? Da -da! What do you think guys? Be honest, let me know in the comments below whether you think that this is semi okay or even if you think you could make one yourself. Now just to remind you, this is the original and I think they do actually have some stock available now and this is the one I made! Vote below! <laughs> The total cost of today's project was under £10. Now, obviously, I think you could have definitely got it cheaper, um, but my base was £5, and it is a cinema base. Cinema? Cinema? Um, basically, I was missold this base. The one that I bought on eBay said it was satin, um, and when it arrived, it was like a cinema base thing, so bit miffed about that uh, but I really like this one still I think it would have been amazing in satin it would have really set it off but it's okay we'll work with it honey I only paid a fiver because I needed it in a hurry I've seen them for as cheap as one or two pounds so if you went in a rush obviously you could get them a little bit cheaper and the clips on the back well they come in a pack of 10 20 50 I think um I got a pack of 10 so it works out at like 40 pence for each clip I've only put two on the back here. Obviously, you could have one here and one here if you wanted more secure. Obviously, if you get a pack, you can make a couple of fascinators, so you really get your money's worth. The piece on the top, oh, well, this was actually a Christmas decoration. So the cost of your fascinator would really depend on this kind of decoration. I've had this one for years. It's actually hung on my Christmas tree every single year. I think I got it for 99 pence at a garden centre. Now, I decided to make myself a fascinator because Every Christmas, I generally just wear my hair down and curl it. I thought that a snowflake fascinator, obviously, would just really jazz it up for the big day and would just make me feel like I kind of made an effort, but when I haven't really made an effort. Now, if my hair wasn't down, I would probably wear this fascinator a lot more on the top of my head like this, and I'd probably pile all some curls or something like that, which is the reason why I only put two clips at the back, because I need to have this amount of space so that I can clip the curls and kind of position it correctly. Now, now because I'm not actually putting my hair up, up in curls I've just placed it right to the back and I just really like it to the side I feel like it adds something special as you can see it's totally secure even though it's only got two clips on again I stress it's personal preference so if you want to put more clips on you can always attach them to the front but I just prefer them at the back now generally I will make myself a fascinator if I'm performing at an event and I don't have anything to match my dress or if I just want to jazz my hair up honestly I make these so much I generally use the same process that you've seen in today's video it's just glue gun and a few crocodile clips it's not that hard to make thank you so much for watching today guys i really appreciate your time as i mentioned in my last video i have a shop if you are looking for a vintage-ish bargain or you just love secondhand stuff well i'll pop the link in the description box below and you can come and have a nosy don't forget to like subscribe and share bye